Meanwhile, operators of another nuclear facility have switched the power back on. The reactor at the Oi plant in central Japan is now supplying electricity. Japan has been without nuclear power since May. All reactors in the country have been offline for regular inspections. The government ordered further checks in response to safety concerns after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. On Sunday, engineers at OE fired up the number three reactor for the first time in 15 months. It's a relief that we can provide electric power to people in the Kansai area. I want the operations to keep going, with safety as the top priority. The engineers say they expect the reactor will reach full capacity next Monday. They're scheduled to restore their number four reactor in about two weeks. NHK World's Hiroki Shigeta reports from the Offside Emergency Response Center in Fukui Prefecture, Central Japan. This center is located about eight kilometers from the oil plant. About 50 officials and engineers from the central government and Kansai Electric are gathered here for a special observation to secure the safety. They are carefully checking the date on the reactor being sent from the power plant. A TV monitor in the newsroom showed how people in the central control room were working. The officials in the offsite center had tense expressions. As they waited for the signal that the reactor has finally begun generating power. After checking the condition of the reactor and the turbines, they announced at 7 a.m. that power generation had started. The news was announced across the power plant. The officials continued to check various data on the plant. The government and the utility say no problem has been reported. They say the reactor is continuing to generate power smoothly. Hiroki Shigeta, NHK World, the Osai Center near the oil plant. And nuclear power is back here in Japan just as demand is expected to peak. Earlier, Yuko Otani spoke with our commentator Mitsuko Nishikawa, who's been following the story. So what was behind the decision to bring this reactor back online then? Mm -hmm. Well, Kansai Electric, uh, experts at Kansai Electric modeled what the grid would look like if reactors in the region stayed offline through summer. And they estimated that supply would face a shortfall of about 15% in the area. And they believe the restart should eliminate concerns about a power shortage and the effects of that on the economy. And there are 50 commercial reactors across Japan. Reactor number three at OE is now the only one online. And as we've said, engineers are expected to restart number four later this month. The other 48 reactors will remain offline, offline for the time being as the government and utilities complete their safety checks. I see. So, but how sure can the residents be that the government officials have taken the steps necessary to prevent uh, another accident like the one in Fukushima? Right. Well, many Japanese believe the measures adopted so far are insufficient. And they point out that the municipalities that host the plants have not updated evacuation plans. And those plans must follow new government guidelines on disaster prevention, but municipal leaders have not submitted their revisions. And Japanese government officials say they have taken sufficient measures to avoid another nuclear meltdown. And they approved a new safety plan for OE. And it calls for additional facilities, including a quake-resistant emergency command center. But workers will take another three years to complete that building. See, so when can people expect the other reactors you have mentioned to be back online? Mm -hmm. Well, government officials want to resume operations after they clear all those safety measures, I mean safety checks. But the accident last year pushed people across the country to join a movement against these plants. Thousands of demonstrators staged rallies in front of the Prime Minister's office, and people at OI formed a human barricade on the road into the plant. Government officials and those at the utilities need to reassure those people and eliminate any distrust. 
the government cannot allow any other restarts until the creation of a new nuclear regulatory commission. So people here will have to wait to find out when power will flow from plants other than the one at OE.